Hey everybody, Blaze Type Flames here. And um by the way, I I went off screen and lost this and I restarted it and I'm pretty in a pretty good position right now. Even though you said once again Carver's in last place. Everything was going fine. He was in first place until he wanted to steal my house once again. So let's continue from there. See as you see right there, whole different board, whole different house. You see you have more houses than before. So that's gonna be questioning why. And by the way, um, the one who got let me tell you who the places were. Platypus was in second. I was in third. Carve was the first. Carvis it was in last. And Alina was the first. That's how it was last game. And I'm trying on changing it this game. But it's not going so good right now because you know lots of crap happened. Carver stole my house, of course. Four. Carver stole my house for uh, the next time. Four. Again, which I really don't know why he liked to do that. Oh crap. Go on Lena's house. Yeah, I'm trying my best to win. Of course, I have lots of big houses. You know, I'm gonna have a bunch of big houses. But since Carver's here, it's just making it harder for everybody. some good cars I got lots of places I know there's a bunch of things going on and what's going down I mean this at first I'm in third again you know you have to get in first or second to end this and this is ending up like Mario circuit which I really hate and if this happens again I might have to do all this off screen again so I did all this over and get over again, just to get back to where we were before. You know, today I plan on being this whole game, being whole this whole Dragon Quest tour. So I'll think about um special tour like day, like the weekend or something like that. So I can watch my um rewrite the plays, new um newest video and stuff, and think. Basically, think this over what I should do, what last play I should do. Like I said, I think I'm gonna do Kirby Return, Kirby's um adventure. Yeah, yeah, Kirby's adventure. After this, whole Fortune Street's done, and the Shark Toy Six M still not done. Already to do the let's play. He will make a. He said when I make a video, when he makes a video to Mark Three Land. That means he's ready to start making some Mark 3 and let's play videos again. Because he wants to do it the same time. So he wants to do something like this person. Oh, go check out this guy's videos. He wants to do that for some reason. You know, I'm only just going to probably the first time ever. I'm not going to just do um just two episodes, levels of day, two levels like a episode. I'm going to do um a world a day. Because I figured out the first world, the second world already. And look at that. See? What the fuck I do to I don't steal their houses now. It's dumb. See, once again, they're stealing my house. Yeah, look at this debris more than a 400 house, or now it's 800. Beautiful. See? They keep for me getting to 6,000 now. There's two people that stole my houses Carver and Alina. And I never even stole their house yet. I'm over being kind-hearted while Carver and them um, are bad. And by the way, when I'm done with this episode, I'm gonna pick up a, pick them up with something to hit with, and pick up like a big huge stick or something, and hit Pretender, Nathalina, and Carver together, and him together. Six. Clam is, you know, just saying random, you know, numbers. Just hope for the best. And they came on talking to me, even though they did something bad. 
That's what I really don't get. I don't want to hear a crap from them if they do something bad to me. Seriously. Right now, it's always just crap. You're not going to get a one. You're not going to get a two. No one gets a one or two. You're not going to get a one. Watch this. He gets a five. This game is just getting worse and worse by the minute. Because I just got to do a bunch of stuff right now. I got to beat the game. Today. I have to beat Dragon Quest Tour today. Which is a bad, a bad thing right now. If I didn't have to do that, I would be done by now. Don't worry, I'm like a good person who faces games real fast. And she took the house right there. And she likes to invest in lots of money. She just makes everybody fear and get feared. It's just terrible how I gotta keep doing this same thing over and over again. You know, all of us need to, um, you know, level up. It's bad because I have, I used to have lots of houses and I'm back to, um, five or stuff. Because two people stole my house. Once again, I don't know why they stole the house, but, um, three. I don't know why they stole my house again. They just do. You just steal the house. So, um, I'm only at level 4. Everybody's at, like, at level 5 and stuff. Well, may lose just a little bit of coins, but, um... But, um, if, the good thing about them losing, they're, like, stealing your houses a lot, is that if you benefit from it. Because you, they, if they steal your house, that money they use to steal your house comes to you, which is a good thing. But, um, he, he needs to go exactly on your house. And by this weapon, all three of those people over there stole my house. Except for the plot of this game. This last game, he stole the house, and I stole it right back. Which was a stupid move. Because, you know, I want my house back, so I have some defense, you know. So then, um, that was a stupid idea. Well, that's what screwed me over the last game. But now I'm not doing that again. I just be more cautious when I steal someone's house. Which is a good thing for me. And by the way, Platypus is already in, has 8,000, even though I just got at least this, somehow stay in my stay in second. Or somehow get first, which is not gonna happen, because you know, barely have any houses and stuff. Because if you don't have any houses, you can't do anything. That's the rule. If you don't have any houses, you can't do shit. You have to have houses to do something with it. Because if you don't have a house and you start bankrupting, you're done. You're done. Two. Because um, if you're obviously done for, if you don't have any houses to do with anything with, you're, you're done. You're done. You're done. Goodbye. So it's a bad thing for you to steal lots of houses. It could really not benefit you. It's terrible and stuff. And if you do... Do you like to steal houses? It, you should stop right now. But it's your game. I'm just giving you some advice. If you want to win a lot in the game, do not steal people's houses for no apparent reason. It's really bad. And if it lets they have a house close to you. And if you're like a good person at this game like me, you can steal the house if they're close to you. But you might not win from it though. That's a downfall. But um, see you're already at level 5 while well, I'm only at level... I'm not in the high level yet. See, look at her. Blocking my spot. Blocking my car. Fuck. 999. See, that's the problem with this girl. She loves to invest so much of her money into one house, it's not even funny. Because I barely have any houses to invest to, and she's going to steal my house I'm using, and by the way, she's living in my house. You should, just as your main objective in this game, just try to stay into the spot that you're usually in without failing. Two. Okay. You gotta try to stay in that spot as long as you can. Or you will fail. Trust me. And this is the spot. Ah, oh, come on. Four. Well, at least she's not in that house.
Well, here's some that you need. This is some cautious stuff you should try to do in any game you play. If, there's, if your opponent has a high house, you should try to get rid of the house that is the main role of it. And it also helps you get more money to your house because they'll be scared to come up there and go, Oh yeah, let's get that over there, yay! That scares the, your opponents to go up to the house that. That just scares your opponent. So you should try to do that a lot. I advise you to do that. Well, first is it, first is if you see a high pink houses, your opponent, you should try to make your house down there not as high as that house up there. So that will scare your opponent. See up there? A thousand. It's not scaring me though, because, um, you know, I had a house, I had a thousand house before. And you remember Angelo, don't you? That reminds you of that, doesn't it? The Angelo thing. That reminds you of that. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't run a roll again instead of just going to someone's house. But uh, as long as you don't go in their thousand house, you should be okay. One. Okay. As long as you don't go in their house, that's it's all okay. It's all okay as long as you don't go in their house. If I swing the best. As long as you don't go in the house, then you are okay. But if you do want to go in the house, you're screwed. Because thousand houses really help people. Especially people in number one. Like, for instance, he's not going to possibly get a three. Watch him get a three. Thank God. Because sometimes people luck out and get, like, big numbers just to survive. But sometimes they get screwed over by their big numbers. And by the way, I'm screwed right now because I'm trying to try to get like a low number. By the way, you should try to win Scorp Drone a lot because you can get a thousand from that too. There's a bunch of games you can win to get lots of money. Like for the Scorp Drone, see that Lucky Star, 20% of it. That means if you were land on a thousand house, you'll profit from it, which is a bad and evil thing. But you both know, if you think with me all this time, you already know I'm going to go land on the thousand house, don't you guys? So I'm not scared of it, because you know I'm going to land on it. There's nothing, that's not going to possibly survive that house, because I always land on big houses. Because that's just the way the game likes me. I land on big houses no matter how big or small they are. And I, if I want to survive, then give me a four, game, give me a four. He had no more house to invest to. So I'm already screwed, and he's not gonna get three. Watch. Never mind. Now he's screwed. Because this is what games like to do to you. They screw up your other. See, you get 100 points if you land on Big House. That's what you get. You get profits from that. If you land on Big Houses, they, they get more money from you and more. That's right, and more. Cause you should try to get promotions as big and much as you can, as much as you can. If you can get promotions a lot, then you should be okay, as long as you don't fail, like the platypus did, and are showing up. As long as that doesn't happen, you should be fine. I'm not seriously kidding. If you are a person who knows how to get big numbers and get big houses, then you should be fine. But for me, in my case, get two. In my cases. I'm screwed, see? See? At least I didn't go in the thousand house over there. But I see I see I see my um stats. I always go on big houses. That's never gonna change. And if you want to change it, go on ahead. Cause I'm not gonna go I'm always going in the big house. Nothing's gonna stop that from happening. Nothing. Always gonna go in the big house no matter how big or small they are. See? If I would have got a five, I would have survived and not then lost my much money. But you know, stats are the main thing. If you can see yourself as a big person who likes to fail a lot, then you should try and not fail. But see, you shouldn't try to fail as much as you usually do. Cause um, I'm just hoping for someone to steal my house. Cause you know why? Cause uh, if they steal my house, I'll profit from it and get more money, which is a good thing for me. Cause if I profit from the money they're, they're using for me, I better just get more money enough to win. Cause I don't want to be like 
stuck here because I have to finish Dragon Quest today. I have to, and I will. No matter what, how long it takes. I'll even do it through night. Three, okay. I don't care how long it takes for me to beat this game, I will beat this game. No matter how hard I suffer, I beat this game. I just got a club. Now here comes the part that all you guys been waiting for. Me failing at the 900 house. Yay! And don't think just because I think that. Just because um, I have bad, I don't have courage in myself. It's just that. It always happens. Because it doesn't matter how hard I try. It always happens. The game just hates me that much. And if you wonder why the game hates me, that's something you gotta find out yourself. If you're gonna watch every single game I play, you will see an epic fail in them. Not even joking. Sonic and the Black Knight. Molten Mine. Failed there. Next place. I failed there. You can name any place in the game I played, and you'll see I failed there. Super Mario. Failed there on the airship. I failed it. I failed it every game just because the game hates me. Don't ask me why, because I really don't know myself why the game hates me. And if you're probably saying, but you had the game for a while now, you should just... It's not that I suck at the game, it's just that the game hates me. They try their absolute best to make you fail. And that's just basically what's going to come on to you. See? Yeah, the game didn't hate me. You want to put me in this situation. And now here it comes, me getting to 1,000. If not, I'll get 4, which is not going to happen. See? 1. See how much the game hates me? Jesus, she, wait, there it is. Bleeding enough. You're just bleeding so badly, just waiting for me to get over there. And by the way, guys, you know what? I might have to end the video here and, um, you know, start it back up when I actually get me a big enough money to win the game, because there's no way I'm going to win. The platform's in the second, far away from now. Unless he wants to try to steal my house, which is not going to happen. We got her over there. She needs just a one more point of money. And then she got it. Enough to win. And I just restarted too. Alina is already in first. She all she needs to do is just get a promotion she wins. Platypus is too far away for me to even catch him. Too far away. He's getting ready to get his promotion right now. He's already heading to his promotion. So the Platypus is ready for his promotion. He's already close. And watch the fail come. Come on, game. Give me a three. And watch me get two. Thanks, game. You, you make me survive. Thanks for letting me survive, game. Even though I'm screwed anyway. But thanks, game. Uh-huh, see? And that's that the house I lost. The books thing. There's no way for me to catch up now. Because, see? I'm at 6,000. The platypus puts it in 8,000. And if he gets a promotion, he's going to 9,000 too. And if he's not, unless the only way three in the wind is for him to fail on the way. Like for us to get two and get a bad card and like pay for the person who's in last place most of your cash, which is not going to happen. See? See, he gets good cards. That's one thing about the platypus I hate. He gets the best cards in the game. And we have Alina over there, who. It's getting ready to get her promotion and win. And the Platypus needs to get his promotion too. But as long as the Platypus still has enough money to win, there's nothing I can say. Because if I still have that house over there that Carver stole from me, I'll be winning. Because the, the, that greenhouse, the bookstore, that's the same house that he stole from me. And that's the same house everybody's landing on too. So I got, if I'm going to make a comeback, I need to get my promotion and hope for the best. Three. That's all I can do. Just hope for the best now. I left my fate in the game right now. Because, you know, what the fuck else can I do? Mmm, that's a good card. Let's see what house I should sell. You probably think this is a stupid idea. Well, I think this is, when you say stupid, I say solution. That was good. Boom. That should help. There we go. Now that now it's gonna be close. Okay, now I'm hoping the game can just help me through. As long as the game gives me his faith and helps me through, 
I should be okay. Or I'm not really screwed. See, look. Now he's in the 9th house. And he needs to get hearts in there. Unless someone just keeps landing on his house. Which is gonna happen, of course. Because Carver just loves landing on people's houses and helping them out. So, all Lita has to do is two things. Number one, get a promotion. Which she's gonna do soon. Or number three, fail. That's the only, those are two ways they're gonna win. She needs to get herself clubbed, and that's it. And look at that, she's investing more money. That's something about Lena that I hate. She likes investing money. A lot of money. And then when you, she, when you loot, run out of money, she keeps on investing more. But the only way for the platypus to lose is for him to land on the 4,000th house right there. See that house up there? That's the only way for me to win if he lands on that 1,000th house and Alina hurries her ass up. Three. Those are the only way. Right there. Only way. No way else. That's the only way. Not kidding now. Only way to win. Fur. Him to land on the 1,000th house and then survive his ass and get his spoke over there, but that's gonna happen. Trust me, he's gonna, since he has lost a cash, he's gonna try to survive. Oh, see, watch this. See? The game never tried to find, play games that actually help. Then guess what? Now it's small now. That's the hard part. He could get Bowser, which he's not gonna possibly get, because the Bowser is too hard to find. And watch him not be Bowser. Coin. It was number one, wow. Because now they make it small now, so it makes it harder. And guess what? He's almost there, too. Now, Lena, all she needs to do is just get hearts, and I'm out of here. But, um, there's another way I can win. Is Lena somehow, um, you know. Yeah, as long as the platypus lays on that thousand house, I'm home free. And then Lena hurts her rest of her ass up, then I'm okay. But if she doesn't, if none of that happens, then I'm done. And might as well hope for the best, even though it's not going to be that four-player game again. Wow, now Jordan Cole. Make it worse. Come on. Just two places. We want a mushroom or that. Want a mushroom. And it's going to go to Carver. Yay. Wow, why are you having just two places instead of just... Carver's no way in the lead. It's just, just between us three, if we're gonna win, who's gonna win and who's gonna lose now. It all depends on Alina right now. If the Plapas lands on the house that is big enough for him to go off the edge and lose lots of his money and go to Alina, then he loses. Three. Okay, so as long as that does happen, then I'll be okay. But if that doesn't happen, there's a 100... Slight chance I'm gonna lose. Yeah. Slight chance I'm gonna lose. A big slight chance I'm gonna lose. And he has another bunny right now. Get a bad card, please. Oh, come on, game. Game, I see a bad card. You're gonna give him a good card. And he's about to, oh, come on, game. See, this is why me and the game hates each other. The game tries its absolute best to help the person winning win. But he's, and, but he, and he's also allowed to go down, too. The, oh, the game has a tendency to let people who lose win, which is a bad thing for me. If I your super suck. Oh shoot, this is getting epic now. Come on, hey Coover, land on my house. I have an idea. If the platypus does what? Six. Fuck. Fuck you, bitch. You should just got one. <laughs> oh god, this is damn getting epic now. I was, if Cooper wanted a damn land in my house, it would have been like this. Perfect. 
too. So I'm just laying on the damn house. Come on, so I'm just laying on a house or anything just to shut this damn music off. Thank you. Thank you, plat ass. Now hurry up to the bank. Okay, hurry up. Oh shit. Okay, this is going to be a tough one here. Hopefully I can stay in first long enough. Or I'm going to get screwed up because she's going to get promotion. Hurry up, plat asshole. Okay, there's only two ways for me to win. And the, two, the second way is for me to hurry up. And win. Cooper, you don't care about you. The only thing that's going to happen is our me surviving or the platypus hurting his ass up to the freaking thing. Times two. Oh, thanks, game. your ass up, platypus. Pussy. Oh, come on. It's your fault now. Thanks a lot, platypus. Now I lost. Because you had the way to win. And guess what? Now he's gonna, she's going to get six and win the game. Good job, platypus. You're such a bitch. You know, I had everything perfectly found, nothing, no problem, and now guess what's happening now? You screw yourself up. Look at that's really not making me feel better at all. Look at I just, I only just lost again. There's no way for me to win. Nothing's gonna cheer me up. Nothing. See? That doesn't cheer me up at all, game! See, that just makes me lose more money. And as long as the platypus just keeps on being evil, like he usually is not get a one, I stand corrected again. And the game really feels sorry for me. She will land on the one. But what's not gonna happen? I give up. Game over. She's not gonna get a one. And if she does give a one, it's gonna be a lucky break. And see, what the fuck did I say? She's not gonna get a one. See, that's the closest I ever got yet. But she didn't get one. Did she, game? Game over again. Oh my god, game. Do you love letting her win? Game. You won't let her get one, but you'll give me all this crap. Damn, game. Third again. Sucks. How many times I gotta freaking get third place for you to understand how much shit I'm going through to win? God. How much stuff I gotta go through for you to win, hit me win? How much, game, how much? You just love making my life misery, doesn't it, game? You know what, guys, next episode, this thing's gonna be done. Because I cannot, I gotta finish this game, this whole entire level, today. And look at this. Look how easier it is before or after that. I can get third or higher. Do you see how easy that is? All I got. 
I just got this, this, and this. 8,000, which is lower than 10,000 twice. All tie numbers. All that. Just one more time. Just have to do that one more time. Stand over here, three or higher. Look how small the stage is. Just get 8,000 or get third or higher, which is better than freaking first or second. So next episode, this ghost ship's gonna be done, and I'll make an episode next. See y'all later. God damn it.